Hello folks, welcome back to the channel, Farmer Evo Extreme here. Here we are on Waymark CA, Waymark Canada, this is by Mapper's Paradise. And it is 502.38 maple standout, and first of all, I think this was meant to be the Monet Seed map, but then for whatever reason the name had to be changed that. But yeah, so this is made in collaboration also with Sadabuki, as far as I'm aware of. But anyway, so here we are, a beautiful Canadian map, and there is no required mods. There is one mod that comes with the map as an option for equipment, and that is the Liquid Trader. So basically, that is the Joskins Trader and that, but we'll go over that and more in a sec. But yeah, let's go over the description, shall we? Welcome to Waymark CA map. The map is based in the small town of Waymark in Canada. In addition to the cultivation and production of grain, this farm is also involved in the large production of grain seeds. If you start the map on new farm mode difficulty, you are given the opportunity to manage this farm with all the equipment you need to do the job. On the map, you will find the following. Three please place farms. The one you start off with on new farmer modes. The other two you have to purchase via the land on the PDA. We'll have a look at that in a bit. The main farm comes with certain vehicles, equipment, free fields and sea production facility. So the Monet Sea facility in that. We'll look at that just one bit. Because I've done a bit of testing on that already. Sign up. This map contains 44 farmlands, 33 fields from small to big, two of which are grass missions. And one small forestry site. There's traffic pedestrians, Saskatchewan, Canada license plates. Custom crop calendar. Train that takes you good to Swift Current Train Cell Point. There is a BGA. And there are productions available. The sawmill, dairy, grain mill where you can get from your durum meat to convert it into durum flour. And yeah, we'll talk about that a bit more in a bit because that's going to be a little bit interesting. There's a bakery with a new product of pasta. Multi product seed production plant. A wheat seed where you have to use your own seeds. And four more, which includes dental seeds, pea seeds, durum seed, and barley seed, which you'll be able to sell at the local purchase station. For seed production, you'll need the, of course, the perfect grains, herbicides, and fertilizers, and all that. Tanks for buying herbicides and fertilizer and lime are pre placed on the main farm. And then lastly, yep, yeah, as we just looked at, the liquid train out to transport liquids and that. But yeah, there's also sensations, and they are the grain mill. Forest market that will take your production goods to Bell Cell Point, Train Cell Point, and addition to the map, as we've mentioned, there are some new crop types Durham wheat, peas, and lentils. So, yeah, overall, a nice little crack map. So, here we are, sort of on new farm mode. Got your house here and that, and over here, this is going to be your collectible. So, the Cash hunt, can you earn a million quid by finding six clues? Where is Canada's favourite sport placed or played in Weimar? So, obviously, we know it's hockey, and so it's some form of ice hockey rink stadium or something like that. And to give you the first answer to that, that would be in real life at least the Innovation Plex. That is sort of based here, uh, was it Swift Current that in Saskatchewan and that? But yeah, that's going to be your first clue now. Thought to give you a little help on that. The rest you need to find out for yourself. So yeah. Anyways, turn to a slot count. So, on four manager and start from scratch. The slot count is 1187. Our new farm mode, which we're on, is 1421. But also on farm and start from scratch, that does include all the equipment, so you do start off with a fair bit of equipment, everything you need and more. So without the equipment, slot count goes down to 938. You can get that down to a further 870 by removing the buildings on the second farm, so this will be on plot 24. I'll go purchase that. And then yeah, additionally you can get down to 816 by selling the buildings on plot 
30, oh, sorry, plot fruit seven field thirty. So this one here. Because yeah, that's where you have your old cow barn and farmhouse. Oh uh, yeah, terms with land prices and that. Not too bad, all things considering. Upwards to a mil that. But for sizes and that, they ain't too bad. So, but yeah, so PDA on new farmer mode. You start off with obviously plots two, three, four, and five. So plot two will be your farmhouse. So you've got two farmhouses. Got a lime silo, refillable liquid tank. Your seed silo production at, or oh sorry, seed silo, seed production at, and there's also a point for contract work as well. Good thing to know. Fertilizer silo, got your workshop, grain silo, petrol tank, and yep. As you can see, go into the drone cam. So, got your farmhouses. This is going to be the road that you're coming on. Do have some little bit of trees in that, so. If you fancy doing a little bit of cheeky forestry, then yeah, crack on with it. So, yeah, plenty of sheds, plenty of these like meridian storage facility or storage tanks. And yeah, they are just decorative silos and that, so you can sell them. But yeah, they do have a purpose in real life. So, yeah, again, sell them more of them separately if you wish. But yeah, over here, so you've got some of your equipment that we'll be looking at in a bit. Because yeah, I've been doing some testing already, setting up the this map tour and that. We have the sea production. So yeah, sea silo is just over here. Your sea production, so quick run over. Your inputs are over here. Um, trigger icons there and that. Everything comes out of here, and of course you need these auger systems and that, so... Again, a thing to note. Also got your furrows and field tanks. More sheds than that, that's gonna be your tractors than that. Then over here, got your mass silo complex. Absolute massive that is, so that's where you'll find your lorry and tractors and that, respectively. But yeah, let's go over the new equipment as well. Before we have a little drive around the farm shall we so here we are under our own equipment so sort of a small tractor that you got the john deere 6120m large tractors you got the john deere 9620rx and 8r410 for your trucks or lorries got the mac anthem 6x4 mp7425 harvester you got the x light 1100 and that comes with the hd 45x 3.7 meter grain header and your C16F corn header, and then comes with the respectable tr header trailer mat. Under cars and that, you got the this is a pickup 2017. Under trailers, you got the Wilson pace setter, Flegel TMK T sorry 273, Rudolph TDK 301 RP. Orca wagons, you got the Elmer's Hall Master. Under cultivators, you got the Valstrad NZ Extreme. 1425 Cedar, you got the Amazon Cit Citran 50001 C. Planter, you got the John Deere 1775 NT. Roller, you got the Dabo Megflow 2430. Front loaders, the 6030R. That goes with 6 series. And on that, a pallet fork. Weight. Then, yeah, you got two of these Meridian Belt systems. And then also, as Power off on the farm mode, you start with the liquid trader. So, yeah, I think what we need to do is if we hop into our pickup a sec, because yeah, I'm gonna do things a little bit different as always. Some sounds we down below that. I'll start off with on the main farm net, and I will go over the sea production, the test in that. So Okay, you can just phase through the doors and that. Interesting. So I'm going to turn on that, see if there's a light switch. There it is. Light switch. And also one thing I will do is turn off. No. 
Alright, so yeah. Put your lime slide out there to your right. Okay, don't face through that one. It's just that first one there you face through. Fair enough. But yeah, that's going to be your section shed. And yeah, does this have lights? Yes, it does. Not too bad in that. Now to the mother of everything. So, got your tanker over here that has nothing in it at the moment. Obviously, you can refill from here. So, she does this work with the pickup. I say it should do, but no. That's a pit hook. Oh well, no worries, we'll come back to that maybe in a bit. So yeah, sheds and that here for your planters, cedar, cultivator, and your roller. Full tank. Like so there to the right with one of your meridian of orgo wagons. Sea production, I'll go over that in a bit. Actually, I think, yeah, I think the sea, the fertilizer and that, I'm going to go over that in a bit now, when we talk about our productions, because, yeah, do you have productions in that? Fertilizer fill points, and they are better than base game by a fair amount, so. Move your shed over here. Yep, yeah, so that's my final combine header, that. Corn header is already semi detached attached along with your um uh, auger wagon struggling for words today just got back home from work notice this came out so I thought yeah so but anyway so also got your John Deere over here your six six series and that that's got the front loader pilot fork and your weight and I think that is everything covered in terms of equipment. Nope. So yeah, got your green sign that over here and that. So all these different ways of coming out. Input, as you can see, is over here. Output is here. Weight bridge. And I just love the look of these and that. Absolute beautiful. I'm just going to have a look. But yeah, as we go around the map and that, you will find it is a study map, well detailed in that, and yeah, well, it's always failed testing that. I was very disappointed in that. But again, you should be in that person with a lot of maps nowadays, now with FS32, soon to be FS35. I'm going to snap something in a couple of days' time as I'm recording this on the 21st of June. But yeah, that I may do a, another video on, on its own. But yeah, so that is a little quick over tour on the main farm. As I mentioned, seed production I'll go over in a bit. But anyways, so if just like get away from the green silo, do you have some custom items? So, do you have your sheds and that? So, Storage shed, Quinnist storage shed, big shed, vehicle shed, vehicle shed. Ah, yeah, you can't change colours in that. Then going over to your silos, so you got your green silo, so that is this one over here. And as you see, that does include the way bridge and that, and the ramps and that, so that holds. 90 million litres. Sea silo that. That is 300,000 for 10 mil and 3 mil for the side complex. But yeah, you also do have a smaller grain silo. 200,000 that holds 6 million litres. And then yeah, more again, got these decorative tanks here and that. But anyways, so nothing under slide extensions, under containers, so you got your refillable liquid tank, large petrol tank, lime silo, fertilizer silo, under tools, you got your workshop in that, 
Now, farmhouse, you do have your three farmhouses, so... What, this one here? And you can't change the colours on that either. Um, actually, going back to the houses a sec, these ones are nice, because you do have the ability to enter them in that. You've got your hob in that. Door, so that's going to be your bedroom in that, or wardrobe. Bed is just over there. Bathroom. And then your back door, door to your garage or garage, whatever you want to call it. And you have a second farmhouse. Seat trigger that is just going to be over here. So seat trigger is here. Wardrobe is just over here. But yeah, coming out and going back into build mode. So yeah, under productions, there are pre-placed productions on the map. Obviously you've got your bakery where you get your passes and that. Sea production, you can purchase that on your own and that. So, if you come here on no farm manager or start from scratch, the sea production, you'll be able to purchase that. So that is a good thing to have. Then going across, nothing under there. Nothing on the greenhouses or orchards. And the only unique thing we've got is the old cow barn. Yeah, very similar to the one that Celebuki does on his maps and that. Actually, if not exactly the same, I think it is. They can't even pour on that. But yeah, it holds 300 cows and that. It's not too bad, not too shabby. Nothing on the decorative or anything like that. But yeah, so that is the main form done. Form done, build mode done, and yeah, but I think to be honest, let's just go around to that because, yeah, we've been looking at the PDA, so obviously, fill prices and that again, I forgot to go over them in detail, so yeah, up to a mill, but yeah, small fields and that do cost reasonably about 50 grand. Plot of land, so plot 24 for the farm over there is 100 grand. This plot is half mill. So up north and that, so you've got your swift current and that. Got your BJ. Farmer's market. Feed and grain south. Got your bakery over here. And purchase that, that's going to give you access to your dairy. Gas station. Bell cell point and dealership. Got your other farmhouse and that, old cow barn. But yeah, more railway silos and that. Just in time for the train to come past. So yeah, typical standard train. And then you go from there, sawmills and that, you can purchase sawmill and use that. And over here, you got your water tank. And yeah, more of this on the go. In person, that when we drive around, but yeah, long side of the green side of that for your other farm, and that's all. Nothing just fills that vehicle workshop, and that is just over here. And yeah, we'll come over here as well. But yeah, it's just a quick thing to note your spawn point and reset point for equipment is going to be over here, and that so. When you purchase equipment and that, they will come into here, they'll spawn into the shop and that. Obviously you do have a large workshop trigger, obviously that's for outside over here. But yeah, so also over here now, I know it's like, whatever this is, next through to, and I have no idea what it is. First of all I thought it was like the passive production or something, but no, it's not that. But yeah, so if we go under our tabs and that, so go under productions, it's gone. But yeah, I have no idea what that is. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, just <laughs> no idea whatsoever. My only thinking, actually, yeah, just have down my notes here. It's possibly the flower production app to get your like during flower and that because. I've gone around the PDA and that, when like testing up and turning up the map and that, 
there is no icon whatsoever for your green meal. There's green silos and that. But yeah, no green meal, no flower production and that. And yeah, even then, the sure your production is that. That is a production, and I just know what don't know what that is. We know what these are: BGA, dairy, bakery, and your sawmill. And also your seed production at the farm. And that. So yeah, that's going to need a hot fix. And that so that may get sorted next week or the week after into July. And that. Yeah, the first week so into July. But again, just a thought, a little thing to note on that. But yeah, slightly uh, broken uh, flower production act. But anyway, so yeah, toward the main farmyard. That's how I'm here. So what I'm going to do is we'll go to the second farm, we're going to loop up north and around. I'll keep the PD up on the bottom left there, just so that we can refer to where we and where we're going. But yeah, also I forgot to mention your cross custom, not cross them, <laughs> custom crop candor. So for example, your wheat and that, that is planted in September or to November. You can do spring wheat, can't do spring barley, canola, I think it's pretty standard. Corn, sunflower, and that, I think it's standard. Soybeans is later, which makes sense. In Saskatchewan, Canada, I knew that for a fact in that. But then moving down, potatoes and that they seem to be standard. I think even potatoes harvest a bit earlier. Again, I could be wrong on that. Cotton and that looks the same. Sorghum and grapes and that looks the same. But yeah, for your durum wheat and that, so that is either in the wind or in fall into the winter and that. Or early spring. Now for your peas and the lentils. <laughs> it's April or bust for that. And you got two months of harvesting it so do be aware so when you're farming that make sure you stick to what you're doing and keep aware of what you want on the ground and when it's ready but yeah so this is going to be farm number two so yeah go shit in there we'll already look down that head down here and yeah just find your small green silo some more tanks in that. But yeah, it's still big enough in that, so you can put more stuff down if you wish, or let's say remove one sheds and put the sea production down here in that. But yeah, sea production, I'll go over at the end of that. Yeah, of course, sometimes we down below for that, so if that's really a pressing issue for you, then just get to that if you're looking for that. Yeah, so, yeah, that's how we're very looked at. We'll come out of here again for the trees and that. And I just love about some music like North American maps now, like Canada and the USA. Just big open lands, big massive fields and that. So, yeah, I'm going to go left there. That's just your four fields over here and that. Of course, if you're something like me and that, my thinking is. Mega fields. <laughs> when I see something like that, my first instant thought is mega fields. So we'll have a little loop around. Actually, you know what? Let's go a bit cross country in that. Don't worry, crop structures off, not destroying anyone's crops in that. But yeah, anyways, as we head into our little town area over here in that. Let's slow it down, so have your fuel station here to your right. Let's just put anchor on the bricks there a little bit. Ooh, what's that? No, no. Ooh, is that a Ford truck mat? Is that not a Ford? Ah, what's it? It looks like it. I shall do know what it looks like. It looks. If it's more real life detail than that. But it could be a farm truck now of some sort, like a Dodge Nat. They were very popular in the 40s and that. Especially you see them nowadays now, like proper 
restored and either retro customized or just put it back to its original or just go off full on custom and that. But yeah, beautiful area and that. Of course, as I mentioned, I'm the collectibles and that. There's nothing to find in that, so obviously, the clue that is the basically ice hockey stadium. And I wonder if it's. It's somewhere over here, Nat. You know, that's gonna be your ice cream bar, Nat. Again, that may be, may be another clue, Nat. Ah, wait a minute. Why more skating rink? Ooh, clue number two. Lots of deer on these hair dance, but you need to look where you find green deer, so. My guess in that is something to do with John Dunat, because, yeah, as we've looked, got a lot of green, a lot of John Deere Nat. But yeah, lots of deer on these here lands, but you need to look where you find the green deer. So, my guess in is clue number two is the John Deere deer ship Nat. Is it even the John Deere deer ship? To be honest, I completely forgot that. But yeah, we'll look when we get down there, so. Alright, fair enough. Clue number two has been found. I'll leave that in terms of that down below. I'm not sure if I go around now, look around enough now, you'll find all sorts of other clues in that. But yeah. Whilst we're in town, that. Nice little school bus is here now, near the elementary school, that. <laughs> Sorry. But yeah, so, think what's over here, let's talk about your productions and that, so... Purchase the bakery and that for 60 grand. So yeah, got your bakery and dairy over here. And again, what I hinted to at start of tour is... These are upgraded productions and that, so... If I just place those there and that, so... I want to go put down a basic base game bakery. So, you know what? I'm just going to put a bakery and dairy down over here and that. So, yeah, looking at the bakery and that. So, obviously with the modded bakery, get your flour from... Sorry, your pasta from your German flour and that. And that's the thing, we're missing that German flour production now. That's got to be a hot fix. But, yeah, in terms of percentages of improvement, speed rates are between 50 to... 400% faster, so 50% faster, faster, so one half times speed or four times as faster. But yeah, bread base game, two to one, 2160 cycles per month. With the model one, it's 3360, so yeah, that is 50%. Cake is 22225, 360 cycles per month. And compared to base game, that is double that is. Yeah, 2225, 180. I'm well, not quite double, but like what? 80%, 75%? Moving on to your dairy, so butter. This is going to be one of those mega ones, so butter is 15 to 13, 408 cycles per month. Compared to this one here, 15 to 13, but the amount of cycles per month that is four times as fast. For the G's, model 1 is 322, 2, 2160, compared to 3222, 2, 2, 1200, so that is, again, about 75% difference. Then, lastly, for chocolate, it is 3600, a 1 and 1, 2, 1. Compared to the base game, that is 50% faster, so that's why I said 50 to 4. 400% faster than that. But yeah, I thought we'll just what's in town that. Nice little worthy mention, so I think what I'm gonna do now is head up north. But yeah, go to your elementary school or your high school here to your left. As you hear the kids play, I think that is coming through as well, so nice. But yeah, so you've got some yourself points over here, so 
this is going to be Lord Johnson's Farmer's Market. And then head over here, this is going to be like your cooperative sell point in a way. And yeah, this is where you sell your productions and that. So, actually, yeah, let's quickly show that off. So, obviously, a lot of crops and that is farmers feed, oh, sorry, feeding grain south and that. Grain mill. If I tag that. Yeah, that's it. That's green mill. That, that's what's missing. That is green mill. I think flashing right. So yeah, let's try head over there a sec. Because yeah, that is in the next county. I do not know. But yeah, again, as I mentioned, a hot fix will be needed. That. Because, yeah, but anyways, as we're heading over, also thing I know is Swift Current, I think that's the cooperative in the air and that, or I'm not sure, something like that, or just the uh, area in general, they do offer pre slight, slight premium prices on some of your products and that, some more than others and that, but yeah, so, Green Mill is over here. Unfortunately, I'm not a PC, so I can't break through the map. And yeah, camera angles in that. Just about see over those trees. And there is fuck all over there, so... Yep, yeah, a hotfix is going to be needed. Back onto the map tour, so yeah. Something can... <coughs> this is your grey mill over here, Nat. Looks like a green mill of some sort. You know, well, your outlet over here and that. So, yeah, I think this is green mill itself. Like, can't see any signs in that or anything like that. But, yeah, if we go into our productions and that again. Okay, it doesn't look like that one, but there's other ones that I've seen that. Like, the more like on Elm Creek and that. I think it's Elm Creek, I'm not sure, but I think this is the Grey Mill, but yeah, it's just maybe it's something to do with the clues in that. Honestly, I would not put that past um, <coughs> Sedabuki and Mapper's Paradise. But yeah, again, actually, one thing I haven't really said is how good is it to see Mapper's Paradise again? You know, like the Millennium Farmer on FS19. That was an awesome map, and yeah, BJ that 475 grand. And I think the cycles in that are pretty similar. In that, I'm yeah, pretty sure in that again, I could be wrong in that, but it doesn't look too different in that. Are these cycles per month? Maybe the recipe is like tweaked in that, but anyways, now I'm gonna head down south, so I'm gonna head down this strip over here. So, going across from where we came from. And I think we'll hook a left over here. Because this is going to be your third and final farm. Oh, so yeah, with the slot counts that, I did include removing off the gate, so... I'm sure you can figure out something from that. But yeah, so, the storage area and that. I was going to cow pen that, I hold the French cow on that. Wooden fences, I would have thought it would be more like a white picket fence, but again, I think that's more of an American thing, not Canadian, so. Again, just a little observation. But, a who? In and out. Yeah, just see, like, just us going down the road now. Just leaving, like, not me burn out snacks. So yeah, farmhouse, farmhouse is there, and the ship here is to your right, so this is going to be your purchase point for your cows and that. And I've done the same again, always hit, 
I used to do that with cows now or with animals in general. But yeah, I just want to have a little look at those cows. And again, also, I apologise if you hear any wind noises in the background. Yeah, it's absolutely boiling here in the UK at the moment. A bit cooler now at 16 degrees and that. But yeah, where are just my offices and that? Yeah, it's a bit toasty up here, so I do apologise about the wind noises and that. But yeah, cows look very decent. And also, wasn't this going to be a sell point for your bells and that? Oh yeah, oh yeah, just this side of here, I was like, oh, there's a bell cell point was over here and that. Yeah, just up here to the left. So yeah, bell cell point is just over here, so all you need to do is just come along, drive along with your bells. And that's a good thing as well, like no awkward backing up and that, there's no, no absolute none of that. Just come along and boom, Bob's your uncle, because yeah, we're from that way. Yeah, it's all the pressure station again, but yeah, so that is good. So we do maths this amount of bells. That'd be a good thing to have. So I think next we head down to train silo, sawmill. Look at the final cell point or that down south of the map. And yeah, I think that's gonna be the map tour. So yeah, I think we'll come back to the trains at the end. But yeah, sawmill, so very standard now by the fit. You put that over here. Obviously you've got your icon there for your wooden that. Output is over here. Output through wood chip here. Purchase it for 100 grand. Oh yeah, 3 to 4, 2,400 cycles per month. Again, that looks very standard to what you see on other maps and that. So, again, it could be wrong, it could be slightly more than that. But, anywho, head into sort of your main forestry section. Which makes sense, Nat, you know, being close to the sawmill, Nat, so... Alright, clue number three time, I think, hopefully, so... It's all about finding the deer, Nat, wherever it was, for clue number two, so... We're at the John Deere dealership. Oh yeah, again, usually these things aren't... I don't do the map tours and that, but... I am tempted to... See what's what. So, yeah, as mentioned, spawn point and reset point for yourself is over here. But, yeah, can we find a clue? Shop icon is just over here, Nat. Is it going to be uh, in one of these offices? I guarantee it's going to be in one of these offices. Ooh, Farm Simulator 22. Good game. Coming out of here. Empty. Wow, everyone's a fan of Farm Simulator 22. Also, like, triggering that. I guarantee it's going to be in the last one I look at. Because, yeah, again, more FS22 fans. And, yeah, I'm looking at like, the bookcases now, like, well, not bookcases, the file cases, whatever documents. And I cannot find nothing. Again, more FS22, light switch and that. But yeah, where is his next clue Nat? But yeah, I do like, love the, like, the deer ship now. Yeah, just get, get away from the clues and that. Obviously you can't lift any, any of this snap, but again. The details that the work that's gone into this. Absolute a beautiful parts department. Nope. <laughs> oh yeah, lights as well for deer ship. See, so, yeah, bear me a second. I'm gonna look for this other clue here. I thought off saw, saw something there, but yeah, I need to find this fur clue, Nat. And uh, yeah, we'll go to the train side though, and then we'll go through the monet. Um, C production. Uh, so you know what? I'm just gonna give up on that because I've got no idea. And I around the deer shipping that. Again, it could be something at the main farm and that maybe, or the deer of the woodlands. But 
I've spent what last five, ten minutes looking around everywhere and yeah, again, absolute butt kiss snapped. By me, so head on to our final point on the map. This is gonna be a train silo, so output is over here to your left. Input is just here. And as we saw early on, the train comes along here. Fairly normal standard train that. So yeah, purchase train, 1,000 an hour, so not too bad. Ah, wait a minute. Found clue number five. You need to send a postcard, fill the tank while you're there, so... Ah, you jumped from clue, was it two and that, to clue five, so... Do I spend the rest of the map tour looking for this? So, the fuel station. So, here we are, we're at the fuel station. So, fuel station. And looking for doors or postcards and that. Object too heavy. Ah, what's this over here? So, no, again, I was looking there. Wait a minute. Oh dear, go back to where you started from. Did you check behind every door at the main farm? Best go look, eh? Borgo stuff and that. Wait a minute, don't tell me. After looking for all those six clues and that. May I say cheated her a little bit. It's all at the main farm. The cash and that. Check behind every door. So, you know what? I was waiting to end the, well, end the map tour now. Could not find that other clue now. Like, it said, you look for behind every door now. I've looked, and one thing I found was this. Wait a minute! <laughs> oh, I didn't realize that. Many years ago, a software company buried their entire stock of unsold video game cartridges in this region. Try to find them all. Congratulations, you found all the game cartridges. So... Ah, wait a minute. Was it him behind here or something? Well, alright. As always, I'm going to leave a timestamp down below that. I found out with, what, half of all the clues in that, that? And this was literally the last one I looked at. This was the last door I opened, and I looked through every other door in that. And yeah, could not find it. But yeah. So, it must be behind here or something. Ah, right now I get it. So, right, fair enough, that is all the game cartridges found. And now, before we do our final thoughts on that, let's go over the Monet C production facility. So here we are, we're looking at the Monet C production. So obviously our new farm mode, you'll find some of the new farm modes on this main farm. If not, you'll find this under store now, or well, under productions and factories. 35 grand to purchase, and believe you me, that is well worth it. So your inputs for your liquids and solids are over here. Uh, the link in that for it is over here now, or the icon to go to the hub in that. So, with this, you can get seeds from your wheat, durum, or durum wheat, sorry, barley, peas, and lentils. And all these are exactly the same 100 litres of grain, plus 5, five litres of herbicide and liquid fertilizer. And that will get you. 100 litres of seeds, so or seed on its own, so that is your wheat seeds. And then you got the specialty of wheat, or sorry, durum wheat, barley, peas, and lentil seeds. So if you're planting that, then you want to use specific seeds, then yeah, feel free to use these. But yeah, in terms with capacities and that, so your inputs for your herbicide and the fertilizer is 50,000 litres for your grains and for your seeds as well as your output. Capacity is 1 million litres and as we look at the recipes already, 
a hundred years, a hundred years, basically, or a hundred ten to a hundred years, whatever. Cycles per month, it's 1,200. And that means 1,200 times 100 is 12,000. 1,200, yeah, 12,000, 120,000 a month. You can get, and yeah, that will, of course, last, what, about 8 months or so, give or take, 9 months. But yeah, one thing I didn't know, because I had it all going that. Because yeah, try thinking, yeah, 12,000, 120,000 years a month. I wasn't getting that. When I had all these running, I was not getting that. I was getting it individually. But anyway, you have all these running now. After a few months of that, because yeah, I've had this running on for a couple of hours. And yeah, we're at 5,000 years already. So yeah, I think something's a bit off on that. But yeah, in terms with you left it all running that. Obviously, regardless of how much you get out being slightly off on that. The fertilizer and herbicide will last about eight months or so before they run out completely. So yeah, overall, not too bad, not too shabby in that. So yeah, once you've gone through your cycles and that, obviously it all comes out through here and that, so Obviously, you can have it, say, put your seeds in here. So your seeds will fill up into here. And then, yeah, obviously adjust it as you wish. And then, yes, go over to our trailer. And then we should be able to fill this up, so... Let's reposition our trailer. And there we go, so we've got our seeds over here. And as we mentioned earlier on in the map tour now, you can sell these seeds and that, so go down to the bottom, have a look. So these are very specific in that, so durum wheat, pea wheat and lentil wheat. That is worth a fair amount in that. Swift current is the best place, but also you can sell at the forest market if you wish so because yeah things like durham we in that two thousand let's look at this peak price three thousand for a thousand liters okay all right requires um a bit of herb like herb uh, herbicide and fertilizer in that but the durham wheat on its own is worth 1500 so i'll say the durham wheat itself it's worth doing Peas and lentils, we're looking about 4,000 at its peak in that. So yeah, peas and lentils. The profit margins are, okay, so it's 10% better with peas and lentils in that. But yeah, at the end of the day, it depends on where you're getting your herbicide and fertilizer from, and all that other good stuff. But yeah, so that is a little quick guide to the Monet C production at Cracking little production facility in that. Something I wish it, was, it has its own mod pack in that, like its own mod in that, that I would love to see on the mod up soon. Whether or not Mapper's Paradise and that, said Buki would do it, I am not sure. But anyway, so I think Final Thoughts in that, on the map in that, overall a banger of map. The flower production that does need a hot fix, I'm sure something like that will be eligible for a hot fix in that with Giants. But yeah, besides from that, as we're just showing our crop, whoopsie. Yeah, it's a bang map of that. So we found the cottages and that, so the treasure hunt and that. That was very good and that. And yeah, in terms with it, the quality the detail in that, I would say it's, it's up there. It's up there, it's a good map in that. So I'd say overall, out of five, four and a half. Just. Yeah, it's very slightly off the absolute banger of map. And I think once that um, flower mill is sorted, I don't see a reason why it can't be like a 5 out of 5. Because at the end of the day, this is a cracking banger of a map and that. But anyways, that is it for me. Hope you found this helpful and informative in some way, shape or form. If so, smash the button. Don't forget number though. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to channel yet, please consider. 
But for you to do, hope you're gonna stay. But for now, it's me Farmer Evil Extreme, and I'll see you all uh, very soon.